The beautiful French city of Metz, a stunning setting for the Moselle Open, a tournament renowned for its homegrown success. And once again this year, some of France's finest were in town. Every year there's so many French players when we start the tournament here and um, we, are, we are lucky to have many French players in the top 100 or in the top 50. So of course at the end of the week we have a bigger chance to have some guys in, in the last four or last two. When you play home it's always a, a special feeling. You have the crowd cheering for you, you have uh, most of the time your family also who can travel and come to, to watch you. So it helps a lot to, to give your best on the court and uh, I think it makes also a, a slight difference. Mess is a very good tournament. It's uh, every time a pleasure to come back here. Um, this tournament, since long time, is one of the best in France. So I'm really happy to play Mess this year. I come every every year to play this tournament. So. I think it's a great event. Uh, I've been playing here since uh, many years. Uh, I have my family really close uh, from here, so they they coming every time to watch me. So it's a really good feeling to play here again. Metz isn't just a favourite for the French players. Luxembourg's Gilles Muller delights in the event so close to his doorstep. It's, it's nice to, to be home actually because uh, it's probably the only tournament in the year where a lot of friends and, and, and a lot of family can, can come and watch me so I have a lot of support here and um, yeah, I'm always looking forward to play here because I always feel well here. Uh, they treat me very nice here and, and um, it's nice to play indoors again and, and, and play on, on, on a surface that, that suits me. No stone has been left unturned as the tournament looks to improve. This year, Metz has made things more dramatic. We built this uh, light show with, uh, with a black core at the beginning and then uh, just a nice show with the entrance of the players and, uh, and the crowd will be uh, during all, uh, all matches in, in the dark. Then it was a big part also of, uh, of the work. One man relishing the spotlight in Metz was the runner-up from seven years ago, enjoying a career best season in 2017. Misha Zverev was raring to go. I played my first final here in, in 2010, came out of qualities and I was able to, to reach the final where unfortunately I lost to Simon, but um, you know, it was just a day where the opponent played too well and I couldn't do anything. I do like it here, I do uh, like the court here and I do feel, you know, it, it feels good. I like the conditions here, the court's great and uh, yeah, so far it's been good. There were plenty of contenders with high hopes, none more so than defending champion Luca Puy, a huge talent eager to keep his crown. I know Lucas since he's 16 years old and I used to practice with him when I, I was on the, on, on the tour uh, or at the end of my career uh, with uh, Lucas and his coach Manu. Uh, Lucas is, uh, is, is a great person and he's very, he's very talented but also he's working hard. He's a really easy guy to work with, one of our most important uh, goal and players for, uh, for a French tournament of course. He has a big ambition. He's only 23 years old now, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure the, the best years for, for Lucas are in front of him. A quality field augured well for another special week in Metz. The stage was set for the 2017 Moselle Open. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, Ace has arrived. We're in Chengdu and Shenzhen. And watch out for Paolo Lorenzi, the Italian looking to climb the Emirates ATP rankings. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on VIXLED, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.